much for joining in on this video. My name is Jenny Spencer and I am a cancer exercise specialist with Bike Fatigue. I am working with the Judy Nicholson Kidney Cancer Foundation to bring you this exercise video to do during the holiday season. Um, between all the festivities from Thanksgiving into the new year, it is so easy to lose track of time um, to take care of yourself with exercise. So please utilize this video. It's going to be a shorter workout so that you can get it in between all of your activities throughout the day um, and the season so that you can take care of your body, hopefully feel a little bit more energized after and make your muscles a little bit stronger. Um, so grab a chair if you need it for support for balance and some weights. If you don't have weights at home, you can use canned goods as well, um, but grab a chair, weights, and a mat, and I will meet you back standing on your mat. Let's go just from side to side, taps, good. And then let's work in some arms, so just arms back and forth, open up that chest, good. Make sure you're breathing, it's very important. Good, now let's stand still and just reach to the right, reach to the left. Good, really pull through those fingertips. Good. Whew. All right, our first set, we're gonna start with jumping jacks. So we are going to go, and now, so you can go full jacks, or you can do modified jacks. Stepping out to the side. Do what's best for your comfort level and your activity status. Good. We're still breathing here, guys. All right, now let's go into our squat. So we're gonna take our hands, put them right behind our ears and just go down and up. If you have your chair with you and you would like to do chair sit to stands, that is completely appropriate as well. Really pushing through your heels. Good. Last one, all right. Catching your breath a little bit here. And we are going to go into wall push-ups. So I want you to put your hands on the wall. You're standing a good amount of feet in between, maybe two to two and a half from the wall. And you are just going down and pushing up. You're really activating your triceps here. We're doing the push. Good. Make sure you're breathing. You're just doing as many as you can during these 30 seconds. Your core is engaged and you're keeping a flat back. Good. And Great, we are done with those. Coming back to the mat, if you need your chair with you for balance, please have it right by you. We're gonna be doing reverse lunges. So this is actually a good stabilizing lunge because your weight is staying in your front foot. So you're bringing your back foot back, going straight down, pushing up, coming forward. Other leg, straight down, pushing up, forward. We're just going back and forth. Again, this is as many as you can do in 30 seconds. So if you need to take your time, get your balance to do it correctly, that is the best way to do it. Good. And we're almost done here. Good. And back. Now, if you have 
weights or canned goods, grab those. You can also do it without any weights. We're just gonna be doing some bicep curls here. So up one, two, down one, two. Good. Keeping your elbows into your body. Good. And we're making sure that we're breathing. You're gonna have a slight bend in your knees when you're standing and doing this. Good. One, two, one, two. Two. One, two, one, two. Great. Now shake out those arms, put those weights down. We're just gonna take a couple breaths here. We're gonna allow ourselves to catch our breath. Grab some water if you need it right now. We got about 15 more seconds and then we're gonna pop right back in. Breathing in and out. Breathing in all of the joy of the family time during the holiday season and breathing out all the stress that may come along with it. Great, okay. We are coming back to the mat and we are starting with those jumping jacks again. So we're going out and in. If you are doing full jumping jacks, make sure that you're landing light on your feet. You're landing on the balls of your feet. Good. Keep going, we're almost there. Good. All right, now we're gonna go into those squats. Having your hands up here helps keep your chest open and point it forward versus crouching down. So we are going down and up. Good. Again, you can use a chair here if you need it. And you can do chair sit to stands. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Good. Last one. Perfect. Shake out those legs and arms. Come on over to the wall. And we are just going down and up. Down and up. Good. I know I'm looking at you at the screen, but your neck should be in line with your spine when you're going down and up in this position. Good. We are almost there. Engage your core. Great. Shake out those arms. <coughs> Grab a chair um, if you need it. And we are going to do those reverse lunges. Good. You're alternating each side that you do. Good. The main key in these lunges is to go straight down. Good. Good, and we are almost there. We are there. Grab your weights or your canned goods or no weights. And we are gonna meet back and do those five set curls. And ready. Go ahead, one, two, up, one, two, down. One, two, up, one, two, down. Good. Good. Keep those elbows in. Those shoulders should be away from your ears. Shoulder blades tucked back and down. Good. Last one, and release. Whew. Shake those out. Good work, good work. 
take a little break, grab some water. Whew. This is a workout. We will meet back on the mat in 15 seconds. And we will actually go to the next set. We're gonna do that next set twice. So we're gonna meet down on the mat. All right. So let's meet down on the mat. And we are going to start with plank. So you can do this in any variation that works with you, whether it's down your elbows and up on your feet, if it's down on your knees, up on your hands, whatever it may be, just make sure your wrists are below your shoulders. And if you're up with your feet, your heels are pointed back to the back wall, okay? All right, and we are gonna hold here. Make sure you're breathing. If you do need to take a break during this hold, just put your knees down and come back up when you feel comfortable. We are almost there. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming down. Ah, oh, reaching back. Getting a little break in. And then we are going to go into mountain climbers. So, point your arms up and you can tap just like this a little bit forward or you can do it a little bit quicker where you're not tapping in between. Whatever works better for you. Good. We're about halfway through here, you got it. Doing taps. Good. Almost there. Good. Your core is engaged, stabilizing your, your back, your lower back. Good. And release. Woo! Let's go back again. And do a child's pose. Get your breaths in. And we are going to come on our side. We're going to grab a weight if you want. You also don't have to. Um, but we are going to come into a position where we're on our knee. So we'll start on the right side. So right knee, your left leg is out to the side. Left hand is on your left side. You're holding your weight in your right hand. And you are kind of going at an angle with your weight down to the mat on that right side. Good. These are side oblique phrases. Just focus on this side right now. Good, really feel your core and your side oblique engage as you pull yourself back up. Good. Good, we're almost there. Good, all right, we're gonna drop that weight. And we are actually going to come on our right hand and we're gonna keep our right knee on the mat and we're gonna bring that left leg up. If you cannot do that, that's fine. You are going to just tap up and down for this exercise. If you can bring it up, you're gonna do little circles. Good. We'll start going forward, little circles forward. Good. And now let's go back. Little circles backwards. Good. You're almost done here. You got this. Good. And release. Woo. Come down to the mat. If you would like, you can grab a weight. If you do not want to use a weight, that's fine too. 
So we're keeping our heels on the ground. You can also have it both with the flat foot on the ground. And we are doing Russian twist just back and forth. So you're looking over your shoulder and you're tapping that weight to the side. Good. Your body is in a V position so you feel your core muscles working to stabilize you while you're in this movement. Good. Good. And release. Woo. Take some breaths here. Grab some water. We have a little bit of time here to rest. Catch our breath. If you need any more time to rest in between sets, please stop the video and pick it back up when you've had your water and you've caught your breath um, to move on to the next, the next set. All right, you are ready to go. We are going to meet on the mat again. And we're gonna be ready to go here in a couple seconds. Move our weight so we don't have any injuries. And we are going to go into our plank position. So I'm gonna demonstrate it on my elbows this time with my legs up. Good. And you're just holding it here. And again, if you need to take a break, just put your, leg, your knees down and come back up when you feel stable. Your shoulders should be over your elbows or your wrists. Good, breathe. And you're having a straight back. Good. Your neck is in line with your spine. And release. Ah, amazing. Come back into a child's pose. One more deep breath here. Great, and now we are doing our climbers. So you can do your taps, good. Or you can do the full thing where you're not tapping in between. Good, shoulders are staying over your wrists and your core is engaged. Good, breathe. We're almost there. Good, and come down on your knees softly. Go back into child's pose. Take, take a couple breaths. Great, now we're going to grab that weight and we're going to do the other side. So we're coming on our left knee here right leg is out right hand is on your right hip and you are going to the side and pulling up and side and up good and up. pull that oblique good really helping you move back up to that starting position. Good. Almost there. And oh, we can release the weight. We're gonna come down on our left wrist. Our right or left knee is still on the mat and you are going to raise that right leg or you are just going to tap up and down instead of doing the side balance circles. Whatever, if you, this is your workout. So whatever works well for you and we're at meeting you wherever you are. Good. Make sure you're breathing. When we hold our breath, we make exercises harder. Good. And they shouldn't be. And we're going backward circles. So lead with that heel. 
You guys are almost there. Almost there. Three, two, one. Release. Good job. Grab your weight if you would like. If not, you don't, you don't have to use one here. Coming to our heels, going back to make that V, activating our core, and we're just tapping back and forth. Making sure we're still breathing. Good. Amazing, we're almost there. And last one. Release. Woo! You guys did it. So let's do a little stretching here. Do some breathing. We are going to come up and do some hip flexor stretching. Right leg is in front of us. We're going to hinge our hip forward, so pull your belly button into your spine, kind of tilt your pelvis up towards the ceiling, and gently lean forward to feel a nice stretch right in the inner thigh. Good. Breathe in, bring your arms up, release down, squeeze those shoulder blades. Good. All right, let's change sides, bring that left foot forward, tilt that pelvis up towards the ceiling, lean into it where you can feel a nice stretch on that right inner thigh side, your right hip flexors. You can breathe in as you bring your arms up and exhale as you fan them out to the side. One more time. And down, good. Great. Now we're going to bring our feet together. Just do a little bit of a bend here. We're hinging at our hip, so we're having a straight back. When we go down, feeling a nice stretch in our hamstrings. Releasing our neck. Releasing your jaw. Letting go of any pressure on your eyebrows and your forehead. Deep breath in. And out. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll up, roll your shoulders back. And last stretch, let's stretch our triceps here. Take your right arm up behind your head. Grasp that elbow with your left hand. Slight, slight pressure to feel a good stretch there on that right side. Good. Release down, bring your left arm up. Right arm is on your left elbow, slight pull. Two more deep breaths in. Amazing. You guys did great today. Thank you so much for taking the time to take care of yourself during these hectic holiday season festivities. You owe it to yourself to take care of yourself. You owe it to yourself to have time um, to show some love to your body with exercise. So thank you again for joining in today and I hope you have a wonderful day.